Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. In today's lesson, we are going to look at dynamic performance views, V dollar sign views for short. What are these dynamic performance views, you may ask? Very simple, they are actually a set of underlying views that are maintained by the Oracle server. And they are only accessible to the database administrator user, Sys. So only the SysDBA can actually access these views. Now, there are actually two keywords you need to take note of, dynamic and performance. They are called dynamic because they are continuously updated while the database is open and in use. So based on the activities that go on in the database, these views are updated accordingly. Another thing you should understand is the fact that their contents are mostly related primarily to performance. Once the instance is started, those views that read from the memory are accessible. Now, a simple illustration in our lab environment will actually demonstrate these views. If you look at our screen, I've put up a query in order to help us illustrate what I mean by dynamic performance views. Okay, now the first thing you want to um, try to do is open the pluggable database. Okay, um, so for that, you already know the command by now, so I'll just ex execute this one. Okay, so you can see pluggable database ORCL PDB has been altered. Okay, now I want to alter my session to move to the pluggable database, so I'll execute this command, alter session set container equal to ORCL PDB. And then I'll execute session altered. Just to be sure, okay, if you, if you execute the command show con underscore name, it shows you that I am already in the pluggable database ORCL PDB. Now, I want to query one of the views, okay? And then I have this query, it said select Oracle underscore username, OS underscore user underscore name, that's the operating system username, locked mode, object underscore name, object underscore type, from V dollar sign locked objects and DBA objects, where A dot object ID is equal to B dot object ID. Now, what this query does is to display details, you know, in a situation where you have a lock on the database. Basically, a lock occurs when someone is trying to update um, a row or trying to update a column in the database. So you, um, in the process, after the update and the person has not either committed the changes or rolled back the changes, um, the database actually poses a lock situation, okay? That entire row can be locked. So if I execute this query, this entire query, you can see there are no details, okay? There are actually no details. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to execute this. Select all from hr.employees. Okay, you can see the records from our query. Now, I'm going to try to update the salary column for the employee with employee ID 100. Okay, this will actually create a scenario, a lock scenario for that particular column. So I'll execute this update hr.employees set salary equal to salary plus one. It could be salary plus 10 as the case may be. Okay, so I'll just execute this query real quick. You can see one row updated. Now, because I have actually not committed the changes, like I've not saved the changes to the database or I've not rolled back the changes, that's to undo. Okay. Now, because none of these two things have happened, there will be a lock. So if I try to query that view again, that holds the details for every lock scenario, you will see that I have some data. 
So I'll execute that query again. You can see now that there's a lock. And then it shows you the operating system username, which is user sys. And then the lock mode is three. The object name is employees. And the object type is table. Okay, you are seeing these details because I was trying to update the employees table and I was trying to update the salary column. So we have a lock situation. Are you seeing how you can actually query the V dollar sign views or the dynamic performance views? Okay, now because this was a practice, the update wasn't intended. I'm going to quickly roll back the changes. So roll back complete. Now, if you execute the same query again, you find out that you don't have that details anymore. Guys, so this is just an introduction, okay, to um, the dynamic performance view. In our subsequent lesson, we're gonna look at how to query your data file, how to query your temp file, and how to query your control file using dynamic performance views. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was interesting to you. If it was, kindly like it and share it widely and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out whenever i upload another valuable content and i'll see you in my next video bye for now